Hello everybody in YouTube land. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, guitars and amps. So if you've got a guitar, like, you know, guitar, electric guitar, you, you can plug it directly into your audio interface. And if you select your inputs and outputs down here on your right hand side, you'll see external in, and then you want the channel that it's coming from. So here, make sure the track's armed and it's on auto, because if if it's not on armed, you won't hear it. All right. And if it's on in, you'll hear it all the time. If it's on arm, you'll only hear it when it's on auto. And when it's off, obviously you don't hear it at all. So, an amp, let's load an amp plugin onto this track. All right, so that's an amp. So that's how it sounds at the minute, but really you're supposed to use them in conjunction with a cabinet. So you drop a cabinet on straight after it, and that's how it should be used. And you've got like clean. Lead. Heavy. You've also got your speaker configuration, you see, so you can change this. And your near axis, off axis. This is where your microphone's placed. Condenser or dynamic. You've got your mono and dual. I just leave it on mono no, most of the time. Anyway, you can do that. You've got your gain, your gain control. You've got your bass, your treble, and everything like you normally have. Like, and then I normally leave this on just all the way wet and leave the volume where it is standard. And um, you can have this set how you want. But not just that, you could uh, if you can also use these together. So if you select both of them and you press Control G on a PC, Command G on a Mac, and group them together, it puts it into a, an audio effects rack, right? And then you can duplicate one of the chains. You just duplicate the chain. Right, you pan one to the right, oops, that. pan one to the right, and pan one to the left. And this left one, we're going to alter it to heavy. We're going to put it on a different speaker configuration. But at the minute, the left one's a bit loud, so you just a volume here. You can just bring it down. So, Got two different amps playing one playing in one channel and the other playing in the other so you can you know do different things see what i mean you've got a heavy one in heavy one on the right hand side and a, a rock one on the left so you can do different configurations and stuff like Yeah, so basically, that's how you use an amp. Uh, always use it in conjunction with a cabinet, because that's how it's supposed to be used. And uh, you'll get better sounds if you use it with a cabinet anyway. So that's how to use an amp in Ableton Live if you've not got an, an amp to use um, a proper guitar amp. Uh, hope you like it, and I'll see you later, guys.